In this video, I'll be walking you through the client experience as well as giving you a quick overview of the admin side. First, let's say you have a sales page similar to this one that your clients can go to to purchase your services. You'll need to link your purchase buttons to your SPP order form so that whenever a client clicks on one of these buttons, they get redirected to the relevant order form. Clicking sign up on the basic plan is going to direct us to the SPP order form that we've set up, but I've already opened it and filled in some information so we don't have to go through that on video. This is a good time for me to mention that you can add some URL variables to your links to pre-select or even pre-fill fields on the order forms. I'd recommend keeping order form questions as short as possible to reduce friction between your client landing on your order form and them checking out. There are two different stages where you can collect information on SPP, either before making payment via the order forms or after payment via intake forms which are attached to the services that the client purchased. Since we've already filled this order form with some example information, we can scroll all the way down and just click on complete purchase, which takes us to a thank you page. On the receipt, the client's going to see a button that takes them directly into their personal client portal instance. At this point, the client experience can go one of two ways. If the service they purchased has an intake form attached to it, they're going to land directly into the intake form so they can provide all the information that you would need to start working on their service. Or if there's no intake form attached to the service they purchased, they're going to land directly on their main dashboard where they can see a summary of all of their recent activity. The service that we purchased has an intake form, so when we click on continue to client portal here, it's going to take us directly into that intake form. Once the client fills in the intake form and submits it, the client's able to see all of the project's data, send you a message directly in the order, or navigate to their main dashboard to see their recent activity, send you a ticket if they need help, or even download their invoices. It is also worth noting that you can add some rules into your intake forms as well as your order forms to display or hide different fields based on the selections that your clients make. Now that we're done with the client side, let's return to the admin side to see what that looks like. On the main dashboard, you'll see a quick overview of your revenue, have access to useful reports and exports from here, your clients and their orders, as well as subscriptions and invoices. Let's go into orders from the sidebar to see the order that we just submitted over here. Going into the order, you can see all of its details as well as view or download all of the project data or communicate with your client and team directly within the order. All messages will be sent to your clients by email, but they can choose to reply either via the portal or via email directly. All interactions on both orders and tickets via email are also going to show up on SPP, of course. Now, let's go over a few basic things that'll get you started on SPP. The first thing you want to do is to navigate to services and click on add service to set up your services. For example, you're able to either create one-time services or recurring subscription services. You can sell as many services as you'd like with your SPP workspace. After setting up your services, your next step is going to be setting up your order forms. Again, you can set up as many services as you'd like with your SPP workspace, so if you have a variety of services that you'd like to sell, you may want to set up different order forms for different categories of those services. Of course, your order forms are completely customizable. You can add in as many fields as you'd like and collect as much information as you prefer. However, as I said earlier, it's best to keep this short and simple. Once you finish setting up your order form, simply navigate to order forms from here, click on the three dots on any one of your order forms, and click view to see a preview of your order form. To share this order form with your clients, you can copy the URL and send it directly to them or link it to the relevant purchase buttons on your website. That's pretty much it when it comes to setting up SPP. Of course, we have a lot more functionality that I didn't go over, so feel free to check out our help center at support.spp.co for more details. You can click the link below to sign up for a trial on SPP and thank you for watching.